What's up guys, Dan here. Today we are going over the LaMaster Barbell Plates, aka the Dick Plate 2.0. So these plates are actually super cool. Um, I'm a big fan. I've always wanted to acquire a pair of Zoovers. Before I die, we'll have a set of 50s, 100s, 150s, and 200s. But until that day, LaMasters came out with this magical deep dish plate with a dude on it. The finish is very good. It's, it's like a, an e-coat. Um, very deep, deep dish. Definitely has that classic USA iron feel to it. Now, if you recognize LaMaster, you may remember that they were a company back in... Don't quote me on this, but 70s, 80s. Uh, they ended up closing down sometime in the 90s. Uh, they made fitness equipment of various kinds, machines, things of that nature. <coughs> and then shut down for whatever reason. Um, the guy who owned it, his son, now has started it back up again, LaMaster Barbell. Give you a link down in the description. And while you're in the description, definitely check out our affiliate links for all our other products that we have access to to help support the channel so I can do more reviews like this and get more cool stuff to review. So, one of the things that made the Zoovers plate that these are modeled after interesting is the barbell sleeve came right out the dick. So this keeps true to form in that way. Uh, probably no, no mystery that this came out at the same time as those Arnold plates for a reason, or maybe just got attraction when the Arnold plates came out. A um, little different design than the Zoovers. You have a dude standing there holding a deadlift, kind of a classic globe barbell on it. And just a cool situation. He looks very much like the dude on the Zoovers plates. Super high quality. Um, they are very, very close to weight. I weighed mine. They are both at right, like within like a tenth of a pound of that 45 pound mark. One was a little heavier, one was a little lighter. Very cool, very accurate plate. I'm also a big fan of deep dish vintage plates in general, and this kind of just fits that vibe. Uh, there's a lot of interesting paint jobs you can look up that people have done aftermarket on them. Pretty hilarious. I found one that's uh, like a caveman style. He's got like a loincloth painted on it, so it's pretty cool. Um, they are an interesting plate. Now, they don't just make these 45s. Right now they just have plates on their website, but they have 45s, 25s, 10s, 5s, and 2.5s and in the deep dish vintage fashion. This is the only one with the dude on it, um, but the 25s are deep dish and they get a little shallower as, as they go. No 35s, so sorry for all you that like to make 205 without a 10. One thing we do need to address is price point though. So. The retail price on these for a pair of 45s is $225, which isn't horrible, uh, fairly comparable to what the Rogues are going for. The Rogues with the Arnold on them are going for another 50 bucks past that before shipping and tax. So definitely a better deal than an Arnold deep dish plate, um, but pretty much right in line with the standard Rogue deep dish plates. These are American iron, I would say very much the same quality as you would find with the Rogue Deep Dish plates. You also have 25s available, 150 bucks for the pair, a little spicier on the price per pound, and there's no dude on it. 10 pounders will run you 100 bucks for a pair, which we're starting to get real spicy now, that is 10 bucks a pound. The 5s are 65 bucks for a pair, the 2.5s are 48 bucks for a pair. You can get them as a bundle. Um, and I'll have to confirm if it saves you a little or not. I'll get some, some screen scrolling here as I do some shopping and screen recording and we'll get it hammered out for you officially. Um, but man, almost 50 bucks for a pair of two and a half is kind of insane to me. I really think they're going to sell a lot of the 45s. Um, probably a good share of the 25s and then probably less and less as you go down the change plate stream. Now these are something that in 40 years could be a very valuable plate too. Who knows how long we're gonna stay in business. They're American iron, and if vintage weight pricing has taught us anything, American iron deep dish plates 
end up being worth quite a bit of money. So, I do like them. They do have another option though. So, I got these for 160 bucks before shipping and tax. Once it got to me, it was right about 200 bucks for the pair. Uh, so a little cheaper than the retail of the other one before shipping and tax are figured. And it's their essentially their blemish plates. They say they're, they're bottom tier plates. So I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna get. Had a hard time mentally justifying spending, you know, over 200 bucks before shipping. So I pulled the trigger to see what we get. And pleasantly surprised. So as you can see here on our B-roll, we have just a couple little chips, or not chips, eh, chips, dents, casting errors, things like that, but all pretty much just around the rim, which over time would happen anyway as you're clanking into other plates. So I am actually very pleased with the results of the plate that I got, especially because for me, the dude and the barbell and the lettering, and the script, like that stuff is the, the things that I want to look sharp. The edges are going to get marred a little bit anyway if you're someone who actually lifts, which I know is rare in the home gym community. So all in all, I will say I am a fan of these bad boys, man. I think they are definitely worth the money. I'm going to get mine painted. We're going to do the dude gold, the barbell silver, and the letters white. I'm going to do that with my daughter this weekend when they're here. And check my social media. And I will, I'm sure, post pictures of them. Uh, you can follow me at strongman underscore Dan on Instagram. And also, always be sure to like and subscribe. Share these videos if you think they're interesting. Um, and definitely comment below. What are your thoughts on this? This is, for me, this is some Alpha Dad Garage Gym shit. A plate with a giant dick sticking out of it just speaks to me at a middle school teenager level. And uh, that's kind of where my mentality resides at all times anyway. So it was a big win for me. What do you guys think? Hit me up and I'll catch you later.